the harder you look for what's going to bring meaning in your life, the less likely you are to find it. Um, because what we tend to do is we tend to think, okay, if I can get just one more achievement, if I can collect one more achievement, if I can get one more thing, if I get one thing that I want, I'm just going to be so happy and satisfied. And it just doesn't work that way. And proof of that, of course, is, is that you look back on all the things that you got in your life that you wanted, and we're going to give you all this meaning, and it, and it never worked in the, in the past. So it's kind of ludicrous to think that it's going to start happening with the next thing that you get that you want. Focusing more on what you have than on what you want, then you start to notice that that which you have is quite beautiful and lovely. Now, from that place of well-being and, and feeling like you have enough and feeling like you, there's aspects of your life that you already like, that's when the game starts. That's not when it finishes. That's the place that, that allows you to then look around and say, wait a minute, I've got a good life. This would make it a little bit better. Hey, I could try this. This might make my life a little bit richer or fuller or more magical or more meaningful. Contentment is oftentimes looked at as something that you will get when you get what you want, and then that's sort of the end point. It's not like that at all. The truth is, contentment is something you find when you stop focusing on what you want, and you start focusing more on what you have. And then from that place of contentment, you discover all sorts of aspects of your life that could, that could enhance it and make it even more magical than it already is. Sure, bad things happen, but not all, of, not all things are bad, you know, and so many of the bad things that happen are, are already over. Why not keep our attention in the here and the now, uh, where most of the time, not always, but most of the time, things are just fine the way they are. For life encouraged us to live as if each day were our last. When are you going to die? In 50 years? 10? Today? I often wonder, when listening to the news, did the person who died in the auto accident Remember to tell his family how much he loved them? Did he live well? Did he love well? When people look back on their lives while on their deathbed, they wish that their priorities had been quite different. They wish they had spent more time with the people and activities that they truly loved. You can, you can think there's this insidious tendency that people have to think that the grass is going to be greener. Our philosophy always is that the grass usually isn't greener. If you can focus more on what you have than what you want and what you don't have, you know, there's some simple things that, that we talk about that on the surface can seem kind of, oh yeah, that's easy to say, but does it really work? But for example, if you wake up in the morning and you're focusing on the things that you love about your spouse or your partner, rather than things that are irritating to you, it's really hard to have a hard day. It's really